Good afternoon. Two rape victims with evidence that has been sitting dormant since the 90s may finally get some measure of justice. Prosecutors have indicted two suspects for sexual assault as they continue to chip away at the backlog of rape cases. News 13's Madison Connor talked to the district attorney. We are going to be relentless and they continue to be relentless every single day in this office. It's DA Sam Bregman's reaction to indictments in two new cold cases involving sexual assault kits collected around 30 years ago. With Mr. Martinez, um, he's charged with two counts in the first degree, one of criminal sexual penetration and one of kidnapping back in 1997. Court records show in 2008, Alfonso Martinez pled guilty in a drug trafficking case where he served probation through mid-2019. The second case against Brian Rascon dates back even further. He's charged with six counts of criminal sexual penetration from 1991. In a pretrial detention motion, prosecutor says Rascon is a career criminal who raped a woman while looking for drugs and money during a home invasion. The indictments speak for themselves. These are older cases, but we are very confident we have the right person. We have charged the right person in both these cases, and we will hold them responsible and accountable under the rule of law to the full extent of the law. Bregman credits the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative, or SACI, for helping bring these cases to a possible resolution. The prosecutors and to the investigators that are dedicated to do this every single day, full time, they look at these old cases and they do everything they can to, to hold people accountable. And Bregman says more cases are on the way. There are victims out there. And we want to make sure we do everything possible to bring them some small sense of justice. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. DA Bregman says last year his office had about a thousand backlogged sexual assault cases. He says that number is now down to about 300.